All right, finding percents mentally. Yeah, let's keep going. So this one's not really my favorite lesson because I spend the entire school year telling you how exactly to find things and to show all your work. And now the book is going to tell us to do this all without using a calculator or without showing our work because they want us to do it mentally. So I apologize for the fact that this feels kind of like a, a counteracting of our uh, messages, but I still want to reiterate that I always prefer that you show all your work. Um, that being said, we'll do whatever the book tells us to do today in our lesson. All right, so finding percents mentally. So when working with common percents like 10%, 20%, 25, 40, 50%, it can be helpful to use the fraction form of that percent rather than writing out the percent every time. So here's a few of uh, some very common ones. So one eighth is 12 and a half, one fourth is 25 percent, two fifths is 40, 50 percent. These are kind of the most common ones here. Other ones, other than seven eighths and one eighth, you probably have all these already memorized. So we have a few more that are more frequently used than others, but it's a good idea to be familiar with the percents and their equivalent fractions. Here's another chart of a bunch of them. Uh, so the ones I'd really, I say most of these on the left side here through the middle, you probably already know, you know, seven out of 10, nine out of 10. Yeah, those are pretty easy. Some of these kind of half percents are the ones that you probably need to familiarize yourself with the most in this lesson. So 30, you know, 12 and a half, 37 and a half is 3 eighths, 62 and a half is 5 eighths. Uh, some people get really close because this is super, super close to 33%, or sorry, 66%. You know, so this is 62, 66, that one's really, really close. Same with 1 third and 3 eighths, it's really close. Um, and then these two are also really close. So kind of these thirds, sixths, and eighths are very common, but they're somewhat really close. So just be careful, make sure you got those down. All right, so find 50% of 46 mentally. So what the book says to do is you need to think 50% equals one half. So if I do one half of 46 means divide it by two. So 40, half of 46 is 23. So that I could say 50% of 46 is 23. So find 25% of 88 mentally. All right, so we need to think of this as one-fourth. So think 25% equals one-fourth. So what is one-fourth of 88? Well, I would really just be dividing it by four. So four by eight, four goes into eight, 22 would be my answer. So 25% of 88 is 22. So 70% of 110 mentally. All right, so this one says think 70% is one set or seven over 10. So I would actually then think one tenth is 11. So here's kind of a double stepper here. So one tenth is 11 and 11 times seven is going to be 77. So it's kind of, it's nice when it ends up being over 10 and there's zero here. Cause like, all right, that's 11 times it by seven, 77. So 70% of 110 is 77. All right, find the percent of each number mentally, go. All right, so 50% is one half. So one half of 82 is going to be divide each of those by, or divide that thing in half would be 41. 25% of 36, 36, and so one fourth of 36 and it looks like a nine because four goes into 36 nine times and then 80 percent of 40 of 60 sorry about that would be eight over 10 of 60. so 10 percent of this would be six six times eight is 48. 20, estimate, oh, I hate estimating, estimate 22% of 494. So the book says to think 22 is really close to 20% or one fifth. Also 494 is pretty close to 500. So we need to find one fifth of 500. So one fifth of 500 is going to be 100. So I'd say my estimate 
of 22 percent of 494 is about 100. So estimate 63 percent of 788. Again, 63% is a pretty close to 60%, so that'd be three-fifths. And 788 is really close to 800. So I think three-fifths of 800 is pretty close to 60%. Uh, so that would be about 480 is what they think. Uh, I don't know if I like this one as much. Uh, you probably need to, I'd probably convert this to 10. So I'd make this a six out of 10. And then I think 10% of 80 is, or 10% of 800 is 80. And then I'd multiply that by six in my head. Six times eight is 48, it's 480. That's how I'd come up with that estimate. So what is one fourth percent of 1290, yikes. All right, so one fourth is pretty close to one percent. Twelve nine or twelve nineteen is close to twelve hundred. So I'd kind of think one percent of twelve hundred is twelve. It's probably the closest I could get to it. Uh, yeah, or one fourth percent. Oh, there we go. So they take one percent of tw is twelve, and a fourth of twelve is. Three is three, so I'd probably then be like, and then one fourth of twelve is three is how I would come up with that. So you kind of did that in two steps. All right, one hundred and fifty-five percent of thirty-eight. So one hundred and fifty-five is about one hundred and fifty for every hundred. About is about fifteen for every ten. So 38 is about four tens. So 15 times four is 60. Man, that's a lot of steps. Sure, why not? And so 155% of 38 is about 60. Yeah, that works. So, you know, 15 for every 10. So if I find, if this is four tens, so it'll be add 50% on top of that. So that's where the 15 comes from. Okay, sure. On your marks, get set, give it a try. All right, so this would be 40% of 400, or four, uh, or how do we go? How about we go four over 10 of 400? Let's ignore that. Four out of 10 of, man, pencil's fritzing out on me. So 40 times four would be eight. 40 times four. I'm going to say 4 times 4 is 16, so 160 approximately. 72% um, of that, so let's go 70 or 7 over 10 of and 300. So 7 times that would be 30. 30 times 7 would be 210. Pretty close. Uh, so 1 fifth percent, so let's say that's 2,500. And we need 1% of that would be 25. And then I'd go 1 fifth of 25 would be divide that by five, so pretty close to five. And then 183% of 90 would be 180 over 100 is 180%. And that's pretty close to 100. So make that into, let's knock that down by tens. So that would give me 10 times 18 would be 180. Okay, they chose something different. It's still fairly close. Uh, a restaurant bill totals 21.35. You want to leave a 15% tip. What is a reasonable amount for the tip? So 21.35 is about $21. So we'd have 10% and 5% equals 15%. So I find 10% of 21 would be $2.01 and 5% of 21 is going to be 21 and $2.10 and a half. So it'd be $1.05. So then I would just add together 3 and 15, or sorry, 10 and 5 and 3 would be 3.15. That's kind of how they came up with that. So let's go over that again. That was kind of complicated. So we guesstimated this to 21. 
15% would be 10% and 5%. So I need to find 10% of 21 is $2 or $2.10. Wow, I cannot write today. $2.10 plus, and then half of this would be $1.05. And then we add those together to get $3.50. So a reasonable tip would be at least $3. And your turn, go. All right, so this looks pretty close to $60. $60, find a 15% tip. So I need to find 10% and 5%. Well, 10% of 60 is six. Half of that would be three. So a 15% would be, add those together, would be $9 would be a reasonable tip. And that's all she wrote. See you in class.